Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So in this video tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to do a uh, you know dynamic uh, calculation or you can say the thermodynamic stability of material. How to calculate that? Okay. So you know thermodynamic calculation is related something related to the temperature, right? So first, what you need to do is you know now how to submit a calculation in Castap and Demolti, right? Everything is same. Don't worry. Just simply select dynamics from here. Okay. Once you have selected dynamics, other thing you know how to deal with. If you don't know, just go to my last videos in Castap and Demol3, uh, then you will get to know how to select all those parameters. Now go to the more section and from here, you can change the temperature, right? Uh, suppose you want to do calculate at room temperature, you just give 300 Kelvin, whatever temperature you want, you just give it. And these are the time frame, you can use default or you can change by yourself also, no problem. Okay, that's all. Other thing will be same. Other thing will be same as cast up what we have done, okay, and simply submit the job. That's all. Properties you can uh, give the band structure density offset for the spe that specific uh, calculation will be getting that. Fine. Generally, generally this dynamic calculation will be using uh, C1 symmetry. Okay, it, they won't prefer symmetry because the symmetry will be breaking in the calculations. So they won't, like they don't trust on the symmetries. Okay, so they will be using C1 symmetry for calculation and one more thing to remember is this cast step manual uh, if you are performing this uh, dynamic calculation will be very costly because we are using quantum method here, right DFT method so uh, this dynamic calculation using DFT theory is very costly and um, there are other ways to do dynamic calculation also using classical method which will be very faster but at the same time accuracy will be you know compromised so this is the way to do a dynamic calculation in the cast up manual and similarly you can do the dynamic calculation in the demo 3 also everything will be same just instead of geometry optimization click on the dynamics and change the parameter from here you have to take this ensemble nvt okay now you just or nve whatever you want you just take the temperature you just change whatever you wish you can take it fine once you have taken the temperature and this time frame and these uh, simulations time number of step other properties whatever you wish you just change the values okay and you know how to change those uh, parameters after doing that you just simply submit a calculation okay once you have submitted the calculation and the submit uh, calculation is done if the optimized structure is uh, you know nearby your uh, input geometry means your material is stable at that specific temperature okay if that lattice is breaking on that temperature over the calculation what happens means that structure is not dynamically stable okay so in this way you can do the uh, dynamics and you can find out the thermodynamic stability of material and uh, you can calculate your material on several different different temperatures suppose 300 400 500 and you can check whether these structures are breaking or it is constantly maintaining the geometry okay if that material is stable at higher temperature means your system is or your material is thermodynamically stable for that temperatures okay thank you for watching the video in next video video i'll be teaching you how to do the uh, how to calculate the dynamic stability of material or the phonon calculation okay